Today, I'm joined by a very special guest, Isaac Clark. Isaac, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, Joe. How about you? I'm doing amazing. Thanks for asking. So for those who may not know, Isaac is a renowned space engineer and is famous for his role in combating necromorph outbreaks on various planets. Isaac, can you give us a little background on how you got into space engineering and what led you to the discovery of the markers? Absolutely. My interest in space engineering started at a very young age. I was fascinated by the concept of space exploration and always knew that's what I wanted to pursue as a career. As far as the discovery of the markers goes, it happened while I was working as a systems engineer for the Concordance Extraction Corporation. While on a mission mining ore on Aegis 7, my team discovered an alien artifact that would later become known as a marker. Before we knew it, the planet was infested with necromorphs. That sounds insane. What was your immediate reaction when you realized the danger you were in? It was definitely overwhelming at first. We had no idea what was happening or what we were up against. There were many moments where I thought I wouldn't make it out alive. But at the same time, I felt a sense of responsibility to try and stop the necromorphs from spreading any further. It was a challenging journey, but one that I wouldn't change for anything. Well, you, your actions certainly impacted the universe for the better. Can you talk a little bit more about your encounters with the necromorphs and what the experience was like? To put it bluntly, encountering a necromorph is a nightmare come to life. They are extremely violent, ruthless, and deadly. You never really know what to expect with them either. Each encounter is different and requires quick thinking and strategic planning. There were many moments where I was faced with overwhelming odds, but I never gave up hope. How did you maintain your mental fortitude during these intense situations? It wasn't easy. The constant fear, isolation, and uncertainty can definitely take a toll on your mental health. But I found that focusing on the larger picture, stopping the necromorphs from spreading and saving lives, helped me stay motivated. And of course, having a great support system in my friends and colleagues helped tremendously. That's really important. Um, speaking of mental health, I, I know you've been very open about your struggle with PTSD after the events on Aegis 7. Can you talk a little bit more about how that has affected you and how you've been working to overcome it? Absolutely. PTSD is a very real and debilitating condition. After everything I went through on Aegis 7 and subsequent missions, I found myself experiencing intense flashbacks, nightmares, and anxiety. It was affecting my day-to-day -day life and my relationships with others. But with the help of therapy and medication, I've been able to make great strides in managing my symptoms. And of course, having a supportive community around me, like my friends and fellow engineers, has been invaluable. That's really great to hear. And I know you've also recently started practicing some alternative therapies like meditation and sensory deprivation tanks. How has that been working for you? Yes, I've found that incorporating alternative therapies into my routine has been really helpful. Meditation helps me stay focused and calm, and sensory deprivation tanks allow me to disconnect from the outside world and really focus on my thoughts and feelings. It's been a great addition to my overall treatment plan. Well, I'm glad to hear you're doing better and that you've found ways to manage your symptoms. Thank you so much for sharing your story with us today, Isaac. Thank you for having me, Joe. It's been a pleasure. All right, folks. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. Comment below. Who do you want to see next?